Okay, hello YouTube, and thank you once again for tuning in to Auto Transport for Dummies, where we talk about all of the questions you dummies have out there. So in this clip, we're actually just gonna be doing a quick rundown on auto transport insurance, okay? This is obviously something everybody wants to know, everybody cares about, they want their car protected, they're terrified it's gonna end up at the bottom of the Mississippi, and I get it. I mean, you look at the reviews online, I mean, I probably would feel the same way, okay? So this is essentially how auto transport works. No matter what pl platform you end up on, what website you end up on, how it gets moved, where it gets moved, it works the same way, okay? So bottom line is, whoever sets up this order for you is, first of all, that they're, they're not the ones carrying the primary liability policy that will cover your transport, okay? Now the trucking company, okay, with the motor carrier number and DOT number that eventually get assigned or contracted to your order, or if you just use the trucking company directly, which is difficult to do, but if you do, that is the cargo coverage policy that will be covering the vehicle. Now, there are two things to understand about this. Every trucking company is required by the federal motor carrier you know the government basically to have a liability policy if you're hauling cars of a million dollars period okay that's the category vehicles fall into that's the policy they require is a one million dollar minimum liability policy these policies are completely verifiable at least the liability part of it online on the fmcsa website uh, these are attached to the carrier DOT number, and the moment these policies become inactive or are canceled or expired, the literal DOT number of the carrier is inactivated within weeks or days, okay? And this is all very easy to verify for us. Now, on the cargo side of it, it's a little bit more challenging, but that is also something that can be verified just by making having the insurance a uh, provider send us a policy, an updated policy with every single transport. And that's something that's very easy to do. We do it on every transport. Now, my liability policy just means if they run into another vehicle or they cause a huge you know, accident with multiple vehicles, their insurance would cover all that. Now that does not apply to if you, if they damage your car, like strapping it down incorrectly or while they're unloading it or loading it, they scratch it or the bumper flat comes off or something like that. Now that would fall under a different policy, which is called the cargo carrier liability policy. Okay. Now these policies generally range in the 100 to $500,000 limits. Okay. Which generally will cover 99% of most people's transports that they're, that they're trying to move. Um, now, if you have a ridiculous exotic or something, that this is why Reliable and Pilot, some of the other big names, um, they will have like a $1 million to $5 million liability policy. But obviously, you're gonna pay a lot of money to move your car with them because it just, like, that's that takes a lot of money to carry a policy like that. Um, anyway, so basically what happens is, once your car is picked up, you sign off on the bill of lading because there's an inspection report that happens when you get your car picked up, okay? The carrier, the trucking company, the driver will, will show up, they'll do photos, they'll take an inspection report, they'll notate whatever damages they see, and this is very important, you need to be paying attention to whatever they notate, okay? And you need to know the condition of your car very well too before it gets transported, that way you're not surprised. Some people actually do have some damages and then they think it got damaged when it's delivered, but actually they were already there. So, but I'm just saying, have a good, uh, good record of what your car the current condition of your car and then also take a look at what they're jotting down when they do the inspection report because this is also very critical to if there was an insurance claim if there was a, some kind of damages you have to refer back to this bill of lading so it's a very important document okay and this is also when the carrier assumes liability is when they sign off when you sign off and they sign off and that's complete boom, now it's in their hands, they're now responsible for that car until you sign off on the other end of it at the destination. Now, if there is some kind of discrepancy on delivery, some kind of damages, okay, in most cases, all small incidences, like a knocked off mirror or cracked windshield or something minor, these are gonna end up being 
coming out of the carrier pocket essentially because these cargo liability policies are really meant for ma major incidents okay they and that is because they have big deductibles most of these carriers have anywhere from like 1500 to 10 all the way up to like ten thousand dollar deductibles for these live these cargo policies okay and so if they do something minor this is going to be coming out of their pocket that's why we always encourage everyone if there is some kind of incident work it out directly on delivery with the carrier have them compensate you right there and it will be a much smoother transaction and again this is why getting the right carrier or a carrier that actually gives a damn is so important because the ones that actually care about their reputation, they're gonna take care of that right away, nip it in the bud. If there's a small incident, they will pay out, you know, out of pocket or even reduce the transport costs. Like meaning if you paid 1500 for the transport and they knocked up a mirror, well, they'll just compensate you relative to whatever damages occurred. So maybe they give you 300 bucks back and now you pay 1200 for the transport instead of 1500. That is the best way to handle 99 percent of incidents okay and we've had very good success with that we've had a couple minor nicks a windshield crack most of these are always really minor minor things now in the event of a catastrophic incident obviously you'd file a claim anybody who sets up the transport can assist you with that they can give you the policy numbers um etc etc um and that's pretty much how it works um and, and again in a catastrophic incident Obviously at that point, the full uh, policy would kick in. So whether it's 100 or 250K in cargo they have, uh, the adjusters would all get in. It would probably be still be a big mess, but you would be covered. Um, and that's pretty much how that works, okay? Um, hopefully that gives you all a basic understanding of it. Um, and yeah, uh, if you have any questions, shoot us in the comments below. Be sure to check out our new shipping platform at airride.com. I'll put a link to it right here and in the description. Uh, we are just growing like a weed. Really appreciate all of the you know, feedback and customers that find us. And yeah, uh, again, happy hauling out there. We'll see you guys on the next one.